So today I'm basically gonna be sharing with you guys my top tips, everything that you need to know. How to know when to keep increasing the weight just by eating a high protein diet. The next thing is to actually choose your exercises. We're just gonna jump into it because usually I talk so much in the beginning of my vlogs. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be all about a beginner's guide to weightlifting because this is something, an area, I guess, of the fitness community that I feel like I've been neglecting. And I don't mean to, but I wanna provide just some more education and content to my newbies in the gym who are wanting to learn more and get more familiar and comfortable in the space. So today I'm basically gonna be sharing with you guys my top tips, everything that you need to know to structure like a basic weight training session and also some basic nutrition pointers to help get you started because you really do need both in order to progress in the gym and to see progress, etc. that really is, you can't have one without the other is how I always explain it. So that's what we're gonna dive into today. Guys, I can't help it when I constantly break out into a Valley Girl accent. It is a little bit later right now, it's like four o'clock. And you guys, my new thing, Lately, let me put it this way. I've never been like a perfume girly ever. And I honestly recently listened to a podcast about how like mostly they're usually kind of toxic, but I recently found one that I like absolutely love the scent of. And so I just, I literally put it on like before I go to the gym because I don't really go anywhere else. And I love it. Like I just love the way it makes me feel. Like I feel so like just an empowered female for some reason, even though I don't know what it is, but like I literally been wearing it before I go to the gym. So this is the scent and perfume that I have. I actually found this at Marshall. So it's like a little teeny bottle, but it's perfect for me. We're also having such an all brown like moment today, but I, I like it. We're just gonna jump into it because usually I talk so much in the beginning of my vlogs, but we're just gonna jump into it. So the very first thing that you're gonna wanna figure out when starting your fitness journey and getting into weightlifting is you wanna figure out your workout split. Now I feel like this is a million dollar question. People are always like, what is the best way to do it? Like what's the ideal workout split to gain muscle, to lose body fat, to gain muscle and lose body fat simultaneously, etc. And the thing is, the kicker, which is the answer that nobody likes, is that there is no perfect workout split. I've posted so many week of workouts where I'm doing so many different splits. I've also done a video where I've compared all of them. And the, the thing is, it, what's most important when designing a workout split is designing one that you can actually adhere to and stick to and be consistent with because that's what's going to get you results on the long-term scale. And I think just really truly recognizing and adopting that concept that there is no ideal, ideal one size fits all workout split for everybody kind of you know, mitigates that stress and takes the stress and pressure off it for you to tr try to like choose the right answer. It just really is whatever works for you. And that's like a freeing thing to me, I guess. So I would ideally recommend you to get there at the very least two times a week in order to see like some sort of substantial progress, but ideally three to four days a week, if you can get in the gym and weight train, that is more than enough, that'll be perfect. And that will definitely be enough for you to be able to see results. So again, I would just go off of like your schedule, your current like everyday itinerary and see what is actually reasonable. How many times is reasonable for you to actually get yourself to the gym during the week? So if you're someone who's kind of falling more between that two to three day a week, frequency that's what i'd recommend doing a full body split meaning every single day that you're going into the gym you are working your entire body just simply because you don't have as much time i guess as you will throughout the whole entire week to work a bunch of different muscle groups so this is just going to be way more efficient you're going to get more bang for your buck and that's when you're going to be focusing more so on compound movements throughout these lifts to really get the most out of your sessions and maximize them so what is a compound movement? A compound move is when more than one muscle is involved in the movement, more than one joint is involved in the movement, that sort of thing. So they just require more energy and they work more muscle groups at once, therefore being more efficient. So this is things like your rows, your um, bench presses, your squats, your deadlifts, those really big movements. Whereas accessory movements or isolation movements are things where you're only targeting one muscle group at a time and only one joint is involved in the movement. So that's something like a bicep curl, a hamstring curl, leg extension, tricep extension, that sort of thing. Now, if you're someone who's able to get to the gym four days a week, that's when I recommend that you can kind of then turn over into an upper or a lower split, meaning two out of those four sessions, you're gonna be hitting just complete upper body and the other two sessions, you're gonna be hitting just completely lower body. This is gonna allow you to get a little bit more volume and dig a little bit deeper and more in depth with targeting both your upper and lower body. All right, we're taking off the hat so you can actually see my face. 
But next step after you have basically outlined your whole entire backbone of your training routine, once you've defined your workout split, this one it gets a little bit more intricate, a little bit more detailed because now it's time for you to actually structure those workouts that you're planning on doing throughout your whole workout split from week to week. Now, this is when it can be helpful to turn to a coach or an online trainer just to help guide you through this process, especially if you're new so that you can prevent overtraining or undertraining and actually just be more efficient when it comes to achieving and working towards your goals. And also they just helped with accountability as a whole because I know a lot of us are always really dependent on motivation and although it's a really powerful thing it's no secret that it is super fleeting and what we really need to rely on is actually discipline to get us to where we want to be and what helps us to improve our discipline is with accountability and that's why future is sponsoring today's video so future is essentially a new fitness app that pairs you with your own highly credentialed fitness trainer. Now, I'm telling you guys, this is not something that's like super generic. You just, you just get a cookie cutter plan. Like literally from the get go, I have been blown away with how personalized this whole entire app is and how close of a relationship I felt with my trainer and how much I felt like my goals were heard, that my intentions were seen, and that I actually was getting a plan that was catered to me, my lifestyle, and my goals, which is the number one most important thing when it comes to designing an effective, workout plan that you can actually adhere to and then therefore see results. So like I said, from the get go, they already prioritize a very intimate relationship with you and your trainer. So upon signing up, you're going to be able to book a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime call with your coach that you have been able to pick out based on all of your goals, your lifestyle factors, the type of coaching that you like. You basically put in all your information of like what your ideal coach would be, what your goals, what your lifestyle is, and then it spits out a few different coach options for you to choose from. It has all of their bios, what they're about, out, what they specialize in and then like I said you book a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime call with them real time to discuss your goals who you are who they are so that you can truly align and move forward to create a plan that is specifically personalized to you so when I say they can design a workout plan completely custom to you like I mean it like if you're someone who can just do body weight stuff at home we can just they can design a workout plan for you if you're someone who just loves lifting weights in the gym there's a plan for you if you just want to do yoga and Pilates there's a coach for you for me I'm obviously very big into weight training so right now I had structured four different weight training sessions throughout the week and that was where we basically started and a few things that I really loved about my experience with future was their voice prompts so like throughout your whole entire workout there'll be actual audio voice prompts from your trainer to help give you pointers and encouragement and cues throughout the workout which I just really liked there's also checking calls and instant messaging that you can do with your coach right in the app another really cool feature is that you can record your form like right in the middle of your workout to send to your coach so they can give you feedback and really help give you tweaks on your form. There's also timed rest periods, which I think was the biggest advantage for me because we all know I can spend freaking hours in the gym. So it really helped me stay on task. And even just having your workout already written out for you helped me just be way more efficient. And I also love at the end, like there's a little note section that you can give a little note to your trainer about how the workout felt, what the intensity was like. There's like a sliding scale of if it was really an easy workout or a hard workout. So there's a bunch of room for communication and feedback between you and the coach, which I really loved. And Futures Coaches has literally trained everyone at every level from literally pro athletes to working professionals. So no matter what level you're at, there's something for everyone within this app. And so if you're looking for a trainer to help you build up that discipline and help you reach your goals, you can go to tryfuture.co slash livefit to try out your first month of Future for only $19. And it'll also be linked down in the description box below. All right, quick little fast forward to the gym. The real problem with this new camera is that with the mic on it, it doesn't fit in my my in my dash so gone are the days of me propping up the camera and then being able to talk with my Italian hands <laughs> so if you decided you still just want to make up your own workouts after you decided what your workout splits gonna be the next thing is to actually choose your exercises and how many to choose so for leg day I tend to stick to anywhere between like four to six exercises if I can do any more than that that usually means I'm not pushing hard enough with my leg exercises and for upper bodies in order for me to hit everything all at once I tend to more so stay in that range between six to eight reps again just to make sure I'm hitting all components of the upper body because I usually only hit that once a week and you want to make sure that you're choosing exercises with variety so that you're hitting multiple muscle groups within said category so for example you don't just want to do like three different variations of squats because it just is kind of redundant and repetitive so for example leg day you might want to choose like a squatting motion a hip hinge motion a thrusting motion a lunge variation and then maybe some sort of isolation work of like a leg extension or something like that you're hitting different areas of 
the legs. And an example for upper body might be like a lat pull down, a row, an incline bench press, rear delt rows, bicep curl, tricep extension, finish with a burnout of push-ups, something like that, where I'm just using that example to say that there's, you're hitting multiple muscle groups in that one session. And then the follow-up question is, okay, cool. Well, how often, how many reps and sets should I be doing these exercises? A beautiful sweet spot that you really, you can never go wrong with is to stay within three to five sets of every single exercise and within eight to 12 reps of that exercise. So for example, if we're doing four sets of 10 reps of squats, you would do your 10 squats, then you would rest, okay, for however long, then you would repeat that again three more times through of doing the exercise and then resting for four times total through to make up your four sets. And speaking of which, as for rest times, it's going to depend back to those, that little vocabulary lesson I told you guys of a compound movement versus an isolation movement. Those compound moves, right, where we're hitting more than one muscle group at once, since it's going to be just an overall more difficult movement, it's going to take more out of you, you're going to need a longer rest time. So again, always listen to your body, but you're going to be more so in that range of like anywhere between like two up to five minutes of rest. Whereas if you're doing more isolation or accessory moves, you're hitting one muscle group at a time, you should be totally fine with anywhere between like 30 seconds of rest up to two minutes of rest. But always listen to your body. You don't want to be waiting too long till like your heart rate is completely dropped and you've lost your pump and your sweat and you're kind of out of the zone. But you also don't want to go too early where you can't give your all to that set. But we're going to go in and do upper body. And then after I'll share my remaining tips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming, I put my low racks on it I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming uh -huh. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again Pump up the action I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell it, most of y'all is flawless. Broke your whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna, cause the game's enormous. What's in since she isn't gorgeous? Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know we're knocking on the door. It's came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsche's coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, all right. All right, workout was brutal. The, the ending that burnout, my arms literally felt like bricks. But anyways, I wanted to give you guys a few more pointers that I think are really important, especially if you're just a beginner getting into the gym. So I feel like a really common question is like, how do you know when to increase weights? Because I think a big reason why not everyone sees progress is because they aren't increasing that intensity as they go or like as they continue training. So that is another concept called progressive overload, which means essentially just increasing intensity and difficulty over time, whether that's increasing the volume, so doing more sets, more reps, or more weight, decreasing the rest times, adding pulses, increasing time under tension, that sort of thing. All of those are ways for you to continue to increase your difficulty over time because the, the beauty and the fascinating way how the body works is that when you're training, it adapts to then be able to handle that stimulus that you've been putting on it. So eventually it gets used to lifting, let's say 20 pounds, right? So then you need to increase that weight or do more reps with that weight, et cetera, et cetera, to then force that muscle to keep grow growing, get stronger and adapt. How to know when to keep increasing the weight. Back to what I said previously in terms of rep ranges, how you want to stay about within like eight to 12 reps is like a good safe place to stay. You want to pick a weight that you can do within that range. Let's say you could do 10 reps and then a week or two later, you could do 12 reps with that same weight. And then the third week you can do 15 reps 
with that same weight. That's when you know it's time to increase weight. And then once you increase, you may only be able to do eight to 10 reps. That's beautiful. Stick with that weight all the way until you're kind of moving through that rep range. And then once you exceed it, you're going to re up the weight again and kind of go from there. That's a really good system and a good rule of thumb that I personally live by. And then dipping into the realms of nutrition while keeping it simple. The most important two tips I would want you to focus on, especially as just a beginner is to focus on eating whole foods as often as you can and to incorporating protein sources as often as you can and in as many meals as you can. It's important to eat whole foods and eating a sufficient amount of whole foods to fuel your session so then you can actually feel energized, you can be feeling your best to then perform better and give your all in your workouts, which will then help you to be able to lift more weight, train harder, etc., and therefore yield more results. And in terms of protein, protein is super important, of course, because when we are training, we are actually creating muscle micro tears in our muscle fibers and then through our nutrition and eating protein etc and resting that is when those muscle fibers repair which allow us to then lift heavier and lift more the next time and grow and adapt so protein is really important to repairing our muscles and it does a lot of amazing things it helps with satiety helps keep you full helps with overall recovery helps with maintaining lean muscle mass it just does a lot to optimize body composition so a rule of thumb if you are someone getting into tracking if that's kind of your gig anywhere between like 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound you weigh so the leaner you are the closer you're going to be to that one gram per pound or the higher percentage of body fat you have, the closer you're gonna be to that 0.7 range. Another way to look at it as is like one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass or per pound of like ideal, ideal weight. That is also a good rule of thumb as well. But protein is so important and so many people underestimate how important it is and like borderline, especially if you're just starting out, if you were to prioritize just by eating a high protein diet, the changes you're gonna see are insane. And last tip is recovery. This is so important and so many people just will kind of overlook it. But like I said previously, how we make micro tears in our muscles and then they repair and rebuild, you need that recovery time so that they can repair and rebuild and you can actually see progress. So sleep is so important, seven to nine hours hours, non-negotiable. That's what's really going to allow your body to actually recover. And I'm telling you, you will, you will see a difference in how your body actually is able to respond to the stimulus you're putting on it. And also do not skip rest days. Everyone needs at least one rest day a week. I take two to three rest days a week. And that is where I feel my best. I'm able to give more in my sessions and give my all in my sessions, which is a really important part. Whew. Anyways, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped, especially my beginners in the gym. Hope it gave you more clarity and more direction and a plan of attack moving forward. And again, thank you to Future for sponsoring this video. Again, the link will be in the description box below if you'd like to try out your first month of Future for only 19 dollars. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.